and we continue to take some time here at News 19 to recognize remarkable women all across the Tennessee Valley. So far, we have brought you the stories of three women making a difference in their communities here in North Alabama. Chief Meteorologist Danielle Dozier joining us once again with more on today's honoree. Yeah, good evening, guys. Jana Ade is a loving wife and mom who has achieved a lot in her life so far. She's got three degrees and has already written two poetry books. She works hard every day to make sure children have the best life possible, all while battling multiple sclerosis, which she's had since she was a teenager. Even after having my son and losing a lot of my mobility, I still want to go, I still want to do, I don't want to be defined by the disease, I'm going to define it. Yeah, that's really powerful words that you just said and I wanted to ask as well how you did cope with it and still cope with it today. It took me a while but with good friends. Um, I was a nanny from a really young age when I got it I was babysitting and that family was a big part of how I was able to get through it and other friends that I had. Um, and a lot of it was prayer. I gave it to God. I finally said, okay, God, I'm done. I'm done fighting you. I'm done fighting this disease. Jana is heavily involved in church, which is where she got her love for helping children. I started getting involved at a young age in our nursery, um, teaching Sunday school. I started helping with VBS. Um, I, do, uh, I direct it now, but not sole director. It's a group effort. Um, Wednesday nights with our kids. Um, they do group Tuesdays in the summers. If I can be somewhere, being a part of something where a kid is going to learn about God or a kid is going to have a meal he didn't have or have the love he doesn't get, that's where I want to be. Jana is making an impact in her community through ministries first priority and clothe our kids. So first priority is where you go into the schools. It's once a week. Um, here locally it's on Tuesdays. Someone leads um, time with kids where they learn about Jesus, um, learn Bible verses, they learn how to find the verses, they get their own Bible if they wish to the end of it. When I was a teacher, if I saw that a kid needed clothes and I thought, okay, they wore that same shirt three days in a row, maybe they don't have clothes, I could turn their name in to clothe our kids and it's anonymous, so they don't know where it comes from and clothe our kids will put together a packet. And so people donate money towards that or old clothes, you can donate old clothes. They put together a packet for that kid. She's also created a sensory table where kids can learn shapes and colors while having fun. Then I don't do any of it for me. I don't care if I'm ever recognized for it as long as they know that God got me through it. But because I realized, now God done this for a reason. And people ask me, well, what would you do if you ever got cured? I say, I don't want cured. Yeah, that'd be fun because I could walk again, but I don't want the cure because then what's my ministry? And right now my ministry is, oh, you can do that. Jana also helps tutor English and is already involved in another program through church called American Heritage Girls. She says she is still able to spend time with her husband and son playing one of their favorite games on the Wii, bowling, which I told her happens to be one of my favorites too. Still ahead of the